This is the Mobile Silver Tankard Nursery Race 17 on the final week of the Starters Order 7 first season. 1 mile 2 handicap, 0 to 100 for the 2 year olds. Never Slayer for Steve Brown, 11 to 1. Cask Mark for Nick Driver, 3 to 1. Tuscan Fiorino for Martin Leadham, 4 to 1. War Shanty for Mike Westwood is 8. Flinty Bay for Grey. Rise All Star for T Rogers, 12. The Bowler for David Ladder, 9 to 4. Favourite. Alert the Authorities and Cartuzzi for Obi Wan, only 9. In the Mobile Silver Tankard Nursery, there's a few other group races over the distance for um, the two-year-olds, so they've probably gone over there, hence such a small field hit, but we're off, and it's Never Slayer, who takes the lead for Steve Ran on the rail, but here's Flinty Bay and the bowler, Cask Mark, Tuscan Fiorino, and it's Cask Mark pulling hard, who's going to take it up on the bend, and Cask Mark being... being Niggled along quickly just to try and keep out in front, but um, considering he doesn't stay to one mile two from the from the trainer himself, I don't know what he's up to. But it's Casmark out in front in the royal blue, and you've got Flinty Bay in second for grey. Uh, the bowler, your favourite, is sitting in third in the light blue and purple. Then there's a big queue at the back, which includes Never Slayer, War Shanty, Tuscan Fiorino, Cartuzzi, Rise All Star, and Alert. The authorities is sat at the back. Coming up here now, down the back. It is still cast mark by about two, two and a half lengths to Flinty Bay and the bowler. Then there's another two lengths back to War Shanty, Never Slayer. Cast mark bowls down the hill now with the bowler in chase. Um, they're into the final five furlongs and cast mark is not as far away as he was. So cast mark is in front from the bowler from Flinty Bay in third. Never Slayer is on his own in fourth, followed by Cartuzzi, Tuscan Fiorino, War Shanty, Rise All Star. Alert the authorities are still at the back. They're into the final three furlongs and the bowler is putting it up to cast mark. Cask mask who's being ridden along. And trying to stay on, coming from the back is Never Slayer. Also coming from the back is Tuscan Fiorino as Flinty Bay goes backwards for now. But it is still Casmark into the final two. The bowler keeping Casmark right up to their work and he's probably going to go past now and does so. It's the bowler for David Robertson in front and going up the hill and pressing hard. Here's Flinty Bay now with a second win trying to challenge the bowler. But the favourite is out in front and the bowler is trudging his way up the hill. Here's Flinty Bay who can't just get there. They're on level ground now as the bowler goes even further clear and wins by about a length and a quarter to the to Flinty Bay, who's in second. They were a long way clear of third. Let's look at it. There's your winner, the bowler, two to one favourite, light work, and sends Davy Lad home with a winner on the final day of the season. Let's check the full result. The bowler. Two to one favourite wins for Davy Dad. Uh, Flinty Bay was second for Grey. Never Slayer was third for Steve Ram.